My name is Louise and I'm a third year at University College Oxford studying Biomedical Sciences. This is the book I've chosen to talk about. It's The Human Brain, a guided tour by Susan Greenfield. The story is how we've got from looking at a brain to understanding how we think, how we see, how we speak, how we move and all the experiments along the way. What I really liked was something that they did in about the 1600s where when someone died they would attach pins to their skulls and they try and work out their personality from the shape of their skull. Obviously today we know that's ridiculous but it was really interesting to understand thinking at the time and how things have changed and how we know these things are wrong now but at the time it wasn't at all obvious. The author uses lots of analogies between the brain and things you might be more familiar with. Uh, for example, to get a sort of scale of the brain, um, they're the same number of trees in the Amazon as there are neurons in the brain. As a scientist, you've got to be able to visualise these things. Having your imagination triggered is really important. Susan Greenfield started that off for me. It's very important to keep up to date with current news. There are all kinds of media you can use. There's um, an Oxford University podcast um, where you can hear um, current researchers talking about their work. I happen to just start reading science articles in the newspaper. I've always been interested in the human body, so that always triggered my attention. And I think the more you read, the more you realise what you're really interested in, and that can influence your choices in the future. Only bother reading what you're interested in. Don't grind your way through a book. If you're finding it boring, it's the wrong thing. Put it down and try something new. There are thousands of books out there. Why pick a boring one? Although I really enjoyed history and geography at school, actually I thought, God, science is just so incredible. I can see there's a vast world out there I know nothing about. And that's what really got me excited. The first one was um, an experiment that was presented to me and I was given the results and I had to explain why things had happened. I also had to discuss an article and whether the results in it were valid. Then I had a second interview, which was basically a logic puzzle, and I had to figure it out and discuss my answers. So I had about 20 minutes to think about it. I thought, oh, I've got this, I've got it nailed. Went upstairs and realised straight away I got it completely wrong. You don't always have to get the right answer. I think that's something you're taught in school, that you have to get you know, a very good mark and everything has to be right. It's actually your thinking that people are most interested in. Are you thinking in a logical way? Um, and if you're wrong, how do you respond to that? Do you panic or do you think, hmm, you know, I'll give another go? I think you also have to get used to being wrong. That's quite a shock sometimes. I would say that each day I do about four hours of reading, uh, which might sound like a lot, but um, reading is your main source of material in a biomedical sciences degree. I think it's very important that you're not interested in just one thing. For example, I really enjoy art, so I go to life drawing classes every week. No matter what you study, you've got to keep an awareness of the world around you and how everything fits in with each other. Science is never just one thing, it's people leading you on, people inspiring you, people grabbing your attention. I think Susan Greenfield equally has a broad approach. She's clearly very interested in politics and in feminism. That's had a great impact on her life. Not only is it a beautiful city, it's a very exciting, interesting environment with lots of people who have lots of time to give. They'll help you and even if it takes 10 explanations, they want you to understand, they want you to learn. As long as you're interested, you're bound to have a fantastic time.